Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan earlier today asked about the state of negotiations with the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia. End of year, and we're now in August, and we don't see much progress. One, how many times have you sat down face to face in the same room with them? And can you explain why it's taking so much longer than you originally thought? Well, I, I appreciate appreciate the question, and I, and I understand the question. And I think the best way for for me to respond to that um, is when you look at where we are right now. We're we're in regular dialogue. We have the right people at the table with the right mindset, and I see that in all of these conversations, and that's both sides. And that creates optimism about the future and our ability to come together. But at the same time, these conversations are complex. They're going to take time. They have taken time, and they will continue to take time. And you know, as I sit here today, I think the most important thing for us and our obligations to our fans, our players, and our partners is to focus on what we control, which we're doing, as I outlined, and to continue to carry this momentum forward. But I'm not going to negotiate details in public or disclose details or specifics. Um, but all I can say is that the conversations continue, and they're productive. Is there any deadline that you've agreed to? We have not agreed to a deadline. I don't think we want to restrict ourselves in that way. We want to achieve the best and right outcome at the right time. And the commissioner spoke for nearly an hour with Tyler Dennis. Ryan, your thoughts on what he had to say using words like engagement, momentum, innovation. What was your biggest takeaway? Got a corporate jargon there, wasn't it? Mm. Uh, PJ Drug Commissioner uh, Jay Monahan. I thought, Damon, by and large, that Jay Monahan sounded emboldened. He talked about charging ahead, quote, on our own terms and focusing on what the PJ Tour could control. I didn't think it was any uh, sort of accident that the last thing that Jay Monahan talked about in his prepared remarks was the potential deal with the Saudi Public Investment Fund and him saying that he's uh, still, quote, hopeful of a positive outcome. There was so much talk about momentum and a lot of talk about innovation. But when you look at the PGA Tour schedule for 2025, by and large, it is going to look virtually identical yes. to what we had in 2024. And Jay Monahan even said, in the future, that's likely to be the model as well. Keep in mind, when SSG was brought in here, there was a lot of grand ideas for what the PGA Tour could look like with its short-term future. The modernized broadcast, a world tour, bringing all the best players in the world back together again. The idea of potentially like Formula One type events where the golf might even be secondary to all the other happenings uh, that are going on, different formats and innovations. I think as the PGA Tour as a whole, structurally, competitively, they're kind of in a holding pattern yeah. until golf civil war is settled and resolved once and for all. It did seem like a year ago he was in a more defensive posture, a crouch, uh, as it were, and he seemed more offensive, more front foot, more forward thinking. I wish there were a few more details, as all of us journalists want details, information. Rex Hoggard asking the right questions about, you know, what specifically are you gaining in terms of knowledge from the likes of Arthur Blank and John Henry and SSG? And, and, and Jay was a little bit vague about that. I would love to hear what the investment beyond the dollars in terms of the technology, in terms of the information learned by being owners of the Red Sox and the Falcons, those types of things that maybe we can look at going forward. It clearly, he feels in a different position. Position sitting here August 2024 than he did last year, potentially not being quite as defensive, whether it's, you know, some of these live players deals are going to be up at the end of the year, whether you're going to have TGL launching in early mm. 2025. He looked at the signature events model as very successful, even if some of the other metrics uh, didn't quite match up. And so I think there's a lot uh, for Jay Monahan to sort of hang his hat on, but you, you still wonder, you know, two, three, four years down the line, what is the PG Tour going to look like? We don't quite have that vision quite yet.